All right. Hey guys, what's up? First review of 2013. Here we go. So this room looks vaguely unfamiliar in the slightest. That's because I'm in a hotel in San Francisco right now. So um, yeah, you'll have to deal with it. I'm on an econ trip right now for my inner term, so uh, I'm just going to review this here. And so the first album that I've heard from this year is, of course, Fen with their third album, Dust Walker. So in 2011, I had the great pleasure of listening to their second album, Epoch, and I even had gone back to their 2009 effort, The Malediction Fields, and I was very impressed with both. Both have a very unique environment, both are very fantastic efforts, both are among the best albums that I have heard from each year. So, that's quite awesome. But how does this third one hold up, you might wonder. Well, the vocal mixing on this album is actually, like, in regards to the clean vocals, it's actually better than it is on Epoch, so that's one thing to take away from this. The majority of the songs are actually over the 10-minute mark, which is the opposite case of Epoch, which only had one song over the 10-minute mark, being Carrier of Echoes. And... The structurally speaking, the album is actually divided into like two parts. That's what I've noticed. You'll have like one song under the length of 10 minutes as the first track, then you have two tracks over the 10 minute mark following it, then you'll have like a brief interlude right in the middle, and then it'll go into the heavier section, and it'll be the same thing again. One song under 10 minutes, the next two will be over. 10 minutes again. So yeah, the difference is they focus more on the post-rock atmospheric side for the first half interlude, then they focus more on the heavier side for their next side, of course. And that is where I find my problem with this album, unfortunately. This album feels very inconsistent for the most part. For example, like with the first half of the album, you have basically what I consider to be one of the best songs of the year so far with Hands of Dust. This song combines everything that I loved about the first album, everything that I loved about Epoch, puts them into a blender. It basically is everything that I wanted this new album to be in one song. It's an 11 minute epic and it truly is a masterwork. I think this is one of the best songs they've ever written so far. Check it out if you haven't heard it already because it's fantastic. You also have Spectre and Consequence sandwiching that song which are also great as well. Then after that you have, yeah, again, the interlude which is called Reflections. It's actually a really nice interlude. I really like it. Then you go into this one other song called Wolf Sun. This begins the second half, and um, it definitely takes a different turn towards the more alternative style. It kind of reminds me of if the Foo Fighters and The Cure just made a baby and it decided to play black metal. That's basically what it reminds me of. While it's definitely an interesting turn, it feels out of place at the same time. I mean, I've never heard them play anything like this on the previous two albums, and while I admire their experimentation at all, and just after you listen to a song like Hands of Dust, I feel it's really underwhelming, actually. And with the next two songs, this kind of just carries on the disappointment, because... With these two songs, I wasn't really all that engaged all that much, really. I mean, by the time you get to the next two songs, which are The Black Sound and Walking the Crow Path, I believe, like, after you get to those, um, you really do feel the album's length, which is something I never felt on Epoch, but by the time you make it to these two songs, damn, it really does feel like an hour. I was really disappointed with the second half, honestly. I mean, there's, like... One little section at the end of Walking the Crow Path that I really liked, though, that I guess I'll show you a little sample of.
you get it. That section right there where they have the clean vocals, it sounds really menacing. That is the best part of that song by far. If they had included more of that, then this probably would have been one of the best songs on the album because that was a very nice touch. So if I had to come up with a metaphor for how I felt about this album, so consider the first half, I'm pretend I'm like a little kid in a candy store. I'm looking at all the all my favorite candies ever, all the Wonka brands except for Runts, I hate Runts, Skittles, Starbursts, just all the favorite candies that I could think of, Butterfingers, uh, Snickers, just, it's amazing, it's a pure delight. And uh, Reflections, the interlude would be like my last couple of seconds before my parents just start counting me down like oh come over here and you won't be in trouble one two and um wolf son for me is like my parents dragging me out of the candy store just kicking and screaming i don't want to leave i don't want to leave i want my candy and then um by the time it gets to that one clean section that i showed you a second ago it's like my parents just secretly bought me like a little butterfinger and they decided to give it to me for oh yeah i'm sorry that you weren't able to pick out any candy but here we get you a little something just for your troubles so even though i didn't get all the candy in the world my mommy and daddy still got me a little butterfinger and that little butterfinger butterfinger represents that one clean section that i showed you a moment ago so overall, it pains me to say this because I have adored the previous two albums, but I'm going to have to give this about a 7.5 out of 10. Mm, I don't know, this felt like a really big letdown. I, I love the Malediction Fields. I love Epoch. This one, I'm kind of mixed about, so... Yeah, uh, I was hoping for like a really enthusiastic review of this album, but... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Better luck next time, guys. Um, hopefully they'll come up with something better in 2015 or when, whenever they make a new album because I know bands usually like to take longer if their albums, like, the further they are into their career. But we'll see. Whenever 2015 comes out, then, um, we'll definitely see what they do upon that time. But anyway, thank you again for watching, um, and keep it metal.